All right, guys, I'm gonna go over a quick pass from a position I've been using a lot lately. So, uh, it's, most people think that you just need to pass either from standing or from your knees, but there's a couple in-between positions that can help a lot with your passing. And one of them is making sure that you're stepping over one of their legs and squatting on it like this. So it's sort of like a passing position on its own, like over, under, or knee cut. They all kind of follow the same principle of isolating a leg. An over, under isolates the leg with your body, a knee cut isolates his leg with your knee pressure, and so on. So this one is, uh, it's really good for people who like to do like Toriyama style or maybe try and do a long step. This is a really good position to add into your game passing. So it works really well when people try to set up a Delaheba on you. What I like to do is I just control the leg and step over it. Once you step over it, you're gonna sit on it with your butt like this. Now it's not too important if it's in the middle or to the left or to the right, it doesn't really matter. I just want his, his foot underneath my butt. Now my left hand is gonna immediately go to the collar. Now the reason I like to go to the collar here is when, you have, when he has his knee here, he doesn't feel super threatened by this grip. Whereas if you have a tight knee cut and you try and grab this grip, he's almost always gonna try and break the grip because that'd be the proper move because if he doesn't break the grip, it's gonna be easy for me to start the long step or put strong knee cut pressure. But when you sit on his foot on his uh, foot like this and his hips are flat and you grab the collar, he doesn't feel as uh, vulnerable to it because it's just pulling his body up and he's not in immediate passing danger, okay? Now my right hand, it's actually gonna go under his leg. And this serves a couple purposes. The first one is when I wanna actually start to try my, try my pass, his hand is gonna go to defend and push on me, right? But by reaching underneath, my hand can block his hand like this. It's just a little detail, but it can help a lot. When you actually start to do a pass, whether it's a long step or a knee cut, putting your hand here as I try and pass, look it, you can't actually reach and defend the actual pass by pushing off of you, which is probably one of the biggest counters to the long step is he'll push off of you and you can't maintain the pressure. So by putting your hand here, it blocks that and just helps you pass just a little bit better. But what's also good about this position is if you wanna uh, move into a different type of pass, like an over-under for instance, you can drop right into it. So maybe I wanna try and long step and he defends a little bit, I can immediately drop my head into his hip without worrying about his hand blocking my face. Here. And we can start to try and do a over-under pass. So this is sort of like a hub of a bunch of different passing positions. You can grab the, ankle, the, the pants here and long step, or you can reach underneath and grab the bicep and long step, which are both really effective. But if for any reason you wanna try something else, you can keep, keep your hand here and just let go of the collar and go right to over under and walk his hip like this. So what usually happens to me is when I'm trying these different passes from this hub position, is they like to throw their foot in front of my face because it's one of the last modes of defense they have. So when I start to put pressure and they start to feel me coming to the side, they like to throw their leg in front of my face, okay? But that's not actually bad for me, it's actually bad for him. Because if he throws his leg in front of my face, this hand that's on the bicep here, it's really easy to drive his leg across and grab the collar. And once you grab the collar, you can put a bunch of chest pressure on his knee and walk around like a double underpass, okay? So from this position, there's three main passes you're gonna do. You have the collar, and you reach underneath. Just rest your hand on his bicep. It doesn't need to be threatening, because if you grab the sleeve or something like that, he's gonna know that you wanna do something with his grip, and he's gonna weave the hand out or put a spider hook. So you just rest it here. It's just a block, it doesn't do anything other than that. I grip the collar, and I can long step just by dropping all my weight forward, putting my shoulder on the mat right here and my elbow, and throwing my leg. He can't push off with my face with his hand, which would normally be his main mode of defense because of this hand here. And then once I'm deep, I can just let Bill finish the passing position. If you do a normal long step where you grab the, the leg and I try and long step, he can just shove in my neck and my chest, and maybe I won't be able to create the pressure that I need to finish the pass. So there's, that's a quick little detail right there. Another thing you can do is as I try and long step, if for whatever reason, he, let's say he gets his knee to the outside, and I try and long step here and he catches my leg or something and I can't actually long step. You can just drive right back in to an over under position. And put pressure here for your leg. And then the third option is I'm here, I reach and I put pressure. Sometimes I even like to put pressure with my hand on this collar too because it still serves the same purpose. He can't reach over across uh, my hand as easily when I try and long step or something different. So from here, when he tries to throw his leg in front of my face to create space because he feels the pressure, I just reach with his hand across 
And see how it kind of forces his leg across my body? He's kind of leg dragging himself. And I just grip the collar. Now instead of backing up and trying to turn, I just drive my chest forward onto his leg and I like to clear this leg. Pass. Okay? So if you already like to use any of those passes, over under, double under, or long step, this is a really good position to add to your game because it's isolating his leg. When I step over his leg like this, it kills his ability to do anything with his leg. And if you think about it, all of his guards require both legs. No one plays a one-legged guard. So if you can kill one of his legs, it limits him from any attacks, really. He can't really play guard here. This is sort of an in-between position. He's kind of like in limbo. There's not a lot he can do except trying to escape the position. Kind of like if you have someone in close guard, there's not a lot they can do except escape the position. So you want to look for positions like this that force him into a, uh, an in-between position where he doesn't really have control, but he's under the impression he's still playing guard. So again, I can long step with my hand on the bicep. I just bring all my weight over. There's nothing really blocking me. All the way over and walk back in. If for whatever reason, maybe he has extra long legs and when I try and long step, he hooks my leg and hooks it. You can just walk yourself right back. Walk his hips still off the side and bring your leg over. Or the one I find most people do is they like to throw their leg in front of my face to try and like push me away to break this grip. They think if they just bit the leg press me away, they can break this grip. What's nice about this collar grip is it's really strong though. So even if he tries to just push, it doesn't really break my grip and I can, it actually kind of lines up the lapel for me to get a tight grip here. And then I can let go of my leisure to put pressure with my chest on his leg. Those are three good options.